I am thinking about breaking up with my boyfriend because of his changed mindset new update. I am not op. Original post by you, throwaway survivor mom in R, true off my chest. There a new update. Trigger warnings. Misogyny. Less than. Mood spoilers. Things are looking up for op. Less than. Backslash. I am thinking about breaking up with my boyfriend because of his changed mindset, the 25th of December 2022. I am literally disheartened by it. I, 25F, have been with my boyfriend, 27 meters, for 3 years. He has been sweet and caring towards me. He would always buy me flowers and cook for me sometimes. I was madly in love with him and I appreciated all his efforts that he put in our relationship. But lately he has been consuming a lot of red pill MGTOW content. He is a fan of someone who I wouldn't say name of but everyone knows who is that famous red pill. Bald guys who has Bugatti. At first I didn't mind. Because he seems fine. Moreover. He started going to the gym after he started listening to those podcasts. But lately he became this toxic person I don't like. A year ago when we moved in together we split the chores. Now he says he doesn't want to do that because he is a man and it is a woman's job. He constantly says that I should quit my job because women are supposed to be submissive and he is supposed to be the provider. I got angry and told him that he has the nerve to say that when he is living in my apartment that is leased under my name. That's the first time we had a huge fight. He accused me of cheating because I would hang out with my male friends. He would always share posts about how men don't need women and how they are happier without women. Also some derogatory posts about single mothers and girls with a high body count. I was really disgusted by this. The final straw came when I heard him and his friends talking. His friend cheated on his girlfriend. Gigi. Now she wants to break up with him. My BF laughed and said, women. They went on and on about how women are dramatic and that she should be lucky to have a rich guy. Like his friend as her boyfriend. It is a man's right to cheat because every great man walked on this planet had multiple wives. After his friend left I yelled at him for being a misogynist and a hateful person. How can he say something like that about someone who is hurting? He laughed it off by saying Gigi is now emotional and she will come back to him because women do not care if a man cheats as long as the man provides for her. And his friend is rich so it wouldn't be a problem. I told him this is really ironic coming from a guy who lives in his girlfriend's apartment and can't even own his place. I know I struck a nerve. He hit the wall beside me and yelled how it is my fault that he has not progressed yet and again blamed my job because every successful man had a submissive wife and if I was like them, he would earn more money. I do not understand what my job has to do with it. It is not making him lose his money or occupying his time. I had enough I told him to get out or I will call the police. He stomped out and called me b-word. I am still a little shaken from it. What happened to the sweet boy I fell in love with? I wish I could get him back. But I don't think I can live another moment with the monsters he has become. Edit. Spelling. Update, the 2nd of January, 2023. I wasn't going to update but someone actually wanted to know. Someone also messaged me asking for an update. So here is it if anyone cares. I didn't end up spending my holidays alone. Gigi came with her friend Tina to my house. They both showed me group messages between my boyfriend and his friends. They basically shared nudes of other girls. Even Gigi and Tina's picture were there. Tina's BF was also included in that group. I was shaking as I scrolled through the messages. They were all bragging about the girls they hooked up with and whose GF is the hottest I was. Looking for my BF's messages. Even though there was no concrete evidence of him cheating on me. He did make some obscene comments about other girls and even talked about sleeping with them. That was the proof I needed. 
though there weren't many responses. I went with what the majority of the people told me. I packed his stuff and called my brother to find a locksmith to change my lock. I was a mess to say the least but some part of me wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I knew that the man I loved is still there. Maybe he was under a lot of stress that I do not know. Either way I will have closure. Two days after the Christmas, I went to his friend's house where he was staying. He looked happy to see me. We sat down and I laid all the things that had been bothering me. I told him that his behavior had been off and he was turning into someone that I resent. I like the man who used to be funny and a little goofy but whoever he turned into is not the person I fell in love with. I even mentioned that ever since he has started watching those podcasts, he has been like this. He tried to deny it. Although he told me that he misses being with me. He was just trying to justify his actions. Even his laziness towards chores. It was just all over the place. I wish I was lying but he started chanting the same thing like he is trying to be more masculine. And as a man it is his job to provide and my job to be his partner. He doesn't like the fact that I have to go out to work just to keep us afloat while he has been struggling with his job and career. I understand where he is coming from. Having a low paying job can be stressful but it is no excuse to treat me like his slave. I never held it against him or called him less of a man because he earns less. This conversation went nowhere. I brought up the group chat. He obviously got angry and started calling Gigi the B word. I asked him if he was really cheating on me. He didn't say yes or no. He just told me he hasn't slept with anyone other than me. There was some harmless flirting but nothing more. I wanted to shout at him but I was in someone else's house. He had the audacity to justify that it is not his fault if he ever cheats in future because a man cheating is not the same as a woman cheating. A man cheating is basically biological and he needs it. He even said a man can cheat and still love their partner. And telling a man to be monogamous is cruel. I had enough. This made my decision stronger. I told him if he can't even promise me loyalty then don't even bother calling me. I went home and pack rest of his stuff. I asked my brother to drop his stuff at his new place. Later that night he came banging on my door. I didn't open it. He accused me of being a bad girlfriend. And that I am making a huge mistake. That he is my last chance to have a family because I am 25 and already past my prime and soon will be 30. And no man wants a 30-year-old hag. He went from screaming to apologizing and promising he will do better. He has nowhere to go. My brother yelled at him to leave us alone or he would call the cops. He kept cursing with every bad word in the dictionary. I snapped and yelled, go suck. Bald man with Bugatti. SDCK. So I guess that's about it. I do miss him badly. I still kept one of his hoodies with me. I miss that man who made me breakfast and brought flowers. I miss the man who was supportive and was all over a gentleman. Maybe he is right. I will never find someone who made me feel so love like he did once. I am just looking for a place to vent. My heart is broken into pieces. It's hard to believe we broke up for something so strange. I wish this was all a lie. Edit. I just want to say thank you to all the people who have shown me some sympathy. I was really down and I decided to read few comments. They really melt my heart. I know I can never bring him back. Maybe the old him is still there somewhere. I hope one day he wakes up and realizes how wrong he was. But I won't be there. But I do hope he changes for good. New update, the 13th of January, 2023. I want to thank all the people who messaged me and commented to show their support. Thank you so much for helping an internet stranger. NGL I am still sad. The breakup is still fresh. But I hope someday this all would be a distant memory. I think I deserve to share you guys minor updates. To those of you who asked if he is still contacting me. He tried dozens of times but I didn't respond. 
I was also getting a lot of hateful messages from his friends. It was pretty much the same, you are making a huge mistake. You are an idiot. You are a b. Tch, and my favorite of them all, women like you deserve to get passed around. You guys do not appreciate men like him. Exbf. Who wants you to be safe and not go out there in the man's world because it is dangerous? Honestly, you are so f king emotional that's why you need a man like him. Exbf. To show you what is right. But everyone was right. You can't with a woman. You will realize you made a huge mistake when you are in your 40s with your saggy T. TS and 100 cats while my friend. Exbf will be banging a chick 10 times more hotter than you. I really laughed at that one because of how ridiculous it sound. His mother also reached out to me and says that she is sorry and that she is not mad at me because it was all his fault. She is a sweet woman. Honestly, if I had a son who was spewing nonsense like him I would be really disappointed as well. But regardless, I am safe. Don't worry. I am staying with my brother for a while. I will be moving out of my apartment as soon as possible. There is just too many memories of us. And if you are concerned for Gigi and Tina, they are doing fine. They help me a lot. They came to see me every single day since that incident. Gigi was more devastated because she was the one who actually got cheated on. But I can hope she will do better. I appreciate all the love and support I got. I was feeling like I made a rash decision but you guys actually made me see that it is for the best I am not sure if I will update again. But if someone big happens then I will. But for now it is calm. Reminder I am not the original poster. Backslash backslash. I wonder what it's like for a parent to watch your son turn into a massive prick so far from the values you taught him. Honestly, you are so f king emotional that's why you need a man like him. Exbf. To show you what is right. Ah yes. Women just sit on the street weeping until a man comes along and shows them how to exist. Glad she dumped that dumpster fire. Andrew Tate sucks. Can we get an update when she's 40 with a loving family and living a content life? While he's still creeping on college girls who don't want anything to do with his beer belly and anger issues? A man cheating is basically biological and he needs it. Okay, so this makes me laugh for two reasons. One, it's bunk put out to justify infidelity. And two, it makes me think of a quote from Terry Pratchett. Not natural. In my view. Saw. Not in favor of unnatural things. Veterinary looked perplexed. You mean. You eat your meat raw and sleep in a tree? Quote. And thus, we witness how a man who had a girlfriend transformed himself into an incel. I love the bit about how she's too emotional but the ex is the one having a crying screaming meltdown at her door. You guys do not appreciate men like him. Exbf. Who wants you to be safe and not go out there in the man's world because it is dangerous. I just want to grab this moron by the shoulders and tell him that the only reason it is dangerous is because of so-called men like you. The emotional thing is so rich. He banged on her, screamed, begged but she is so emotional. What's sad is how they teach this narcissism along with their bad advice. If it was just bad advice, men would stop following it when it fails. But since they also teach, it's never your fault. She failed to live up to you by not putting up with your abuse, the men just stop self-reflecting. Then again, I feel like the kind of men who get caught up in MGTOW aren't big on self-reflection to begin with. OOP's BF had a great thing going but clearly felt inadequate in some way. And rather than asking what he could improve about himself, he latched onto, actually you're fine and the rest of the world should be catering to you as a natural principle. 
Hopefully he figures it out after his life continues to suck. Men going their own way. GF dumps man. Man refuses to go his own way. If it was me, I would take all those messages and post them on social medias and tag them in it so people can see what disgusting men they are. Keep other women from making the mistake of dating them. Really when they are in their 40s they will be the ones single and crying because no decent woman will have anything to do with them. Andrew Tate and MGTOW are a cancer. I'm so glad Oop got out and that's she's being supported. And I hope someday her ex comes to his senses. Although I wouldn't mind if he wound up miserable and alone for the rest of his life. But I'm petty woman shrugging light skin tone. Bald man with Bugatti, made me lol. EXBF. I'm a man going his own way. Oop. Then get out of here and go your own, ing way. I'm sad Oop is sad. But I'm happy she did the right thing for herself. Only comfort, Andrew Tate will rot in a Romanian prison. I was feeling like I made a rash decision haha ha, no. Women like you deserve to get passed around. You guys do not appreciate men like him. EXBF. Who wants you to be safe and not go out there in the man's world because it is dangerous? This feels like a threat. I hope she stays safe and keeps these messages as evidence of harassment. You are too emotional, says man who is unable to control any of his emotions or have a rational thought. This guy is manipulative trash. You will realize you made a huge mistake when you are in your 40s with your saggy T. TS and 100 cats. Cats? Sign me up. Cats assholes. That he is my last chance to have a family because I am 25 and already past my prime and soon will. Be 30. And no man wants a 30 year old hag. You will realize you made a huge mistake when you are in your 40s with your saggy T. T.S. There are several years between 25 and 30. And then to jump to 40. These misogynistic men are sitting listening to their podcasts with their other loser friends. Meanwhile Oop is working. Supporting herself and moving on. I predict that by 30 she will have advanced in her career. Met a wonderful man and started a family, if that is what she wants. Meanwhile, XBF will be living in his mother's basement listening to podcasts. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.